Okay, hello dear students. Welcome back to your channel, Hello Pharmacology. In today's class, let us learn about a very important drug effects. So, what you want to learn is first of all, so drug effects. So there are different kinds of drug effects. So let us see what are all the drug effects which you can encounter in pharmacology. So first one is the Additive additive effect. Additive effect. Second one is synergistic synergistic effect. And third one is potentiation. Potentiation. And fourth one is antagonism or antagonistic antagonistic effect. Fifth one is permissive action. Permissive action or permissive effect. And sixth is tachyphylactic effect or tachyphylaxis. Tachyphylactic effect. So let us see one by one. So what are all these effects means? So please remember additive effects. Additive effects means whenever a substance A and substance B is added together. The effect of substance A, so the effect of substance A and substance B, substance B is equal to is equal to the sum of the individual effects. Sum of the individual effects. Is that clear? So the effect of substance A and B is equal to the individual effects of A and B. So that means to say, if we take an example of aspirin and paracetamol, paracetamol. So they are basically analgesic agent analgesic agent and both help in relieving the pain. So here the effect of, subs effect of substance A and B if it is 2, if it is 2 plus 2 it just adds up, just adds up. Whereas in the case of synergistic synergistic effect what happens is the effect of drug a and b a and b together is more than that of the effect of individual substance a and b here what is the example for synergistic action so here the example you can quote is the antiplatelet action. There is the aspirin with clopidogrel. Clopidogrel. So effect of 2 plus 2 will be more than 4. More than 4. So let us see what you understand by potentiation. So potentiation means so you are combining two drugs remember the effect of substance b doesn't have any therapeutic value but it will going to enhance the activity or efficacy of the drug a so you can see that so a plus b usually effect will be more than that of the individual drugs individual drugs so the example here you can quote is the 
coat is the carbidopa carbidopa when it is combined with levodopa levodopa so if this drug has got effect zero if it is combined with the levodopa the effect will be more than two so it is called as potentiation the carbidopa is potentiating the effect of the levodopa so next coming to the antagonistic action so here you can see that so the effect of substance a as well as substance b substance b is less than the individual effect less than the individual effect so what is the example what you can quote here here the example is the ethanol ethanol which is a antidote antidote in the treatment of methanol poisoning or methanol toxicity here what happens is the effect of two drug effect of two drug is less than four it is less than four next is permissive action here the presence of one drug has to be therefore full action or full effect of the other drug for example drug a has to be present for the full action of the b so the example is cortisol corticosteroids has to be present cortisol has to be present for fully functioning of catecholamines if you want to see the catecholamine response whenever the catecholamine act there should be a cortisol so only when cortisol is present the catecholamines will going to produce their effects next is the tachyphylaxis when any drug is given for example if a drug a is given at a repeated interval of time repeated interval of time at the same dose what happens there will be decrease in the response there is a decrease in the response so the example which you can quote here is the nasal decongestant nasal decongestant so which is the nasal decongestant you can remember of so one such example is the oxy meta zolin oxymetazolin which is a indirectly acting sympathomimetic agent when you give this there will be a rebound rebound congestion congestion so in this class we have seen the various drug effects mainly we have seen the six important drug effects that is we can see that there is a additive effect there is a synergistic effect there is a potentiation there is an antagonistic effect there is a permissive effect and the tachyphylactic effect just to revise additive means whenever you add up the drug they were simply add ups example is aspirin and paracetamol they will add up the analgesic activity simple concept to remember is 2 plus 2 is 4 synergistic effect when a substance a and b is combined together the effect of combined drug will be more than that of the individual effects here adding clopidogrel with the aspirin so 2 plus 2 will be more than 4 potentiation here one of the drug will be having no therapeutic value but that drug will going to increase the effect of the other drug here you can see that when a drug a is combined with b the effect will be more than that of the individual a and b effects the one such example is the classical example is the carbidopa and combined with levodopa although carbidopa doesn't have any therapeutic value carbidopa will going to increase the therapeutic efficacy of the levodopa 0 plus 2 the effect will be more than 2 antagonistic effect whenever you combine a drug a and b the together effect will be less than the individual drug effects here you can see ethanol which is antidote for methanol toxicity 2 plus 2 will be less than 4 permissive effect so here the presence of a has to be there 
for the fully actioning of the drug B. One such example is that cortisol has to be present for the full effects of the catecholamine. What is the tachyphylactic effect? So whenever a drug is given at a successive or repeated interval of time, at the same dose, the response will going to decrease. The example is the nasal decongestant. So nasal decongestant example is oxymetazole. Whenever you use this at a successive interval with a repeated administration of the drug, there will be decrease in the response which can lead to rebound congestion. So if you find this video useful, please do subscribe to my channel Hilo Pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button for more updates on pharmacology. Thank you. We'll meet up in the next video with the interesting topic on pharmacology. Thank you.